So I just got my wisdom teeth removed yesterday, so that's why I look like kind of a chubby kid right now, because there is some swelling. And then it doesn't really hurt at all. I haven't had to. They gave me some T3, Tylenol 3, um, and I haven't had to use it yet. Um, just been putting ice on it for swelling, and um, first day I had like gauze in my mouth, but um, it's not that bad actually. I got all four of them done, so they just knocked me right out and did all four of them. Yeah. I'm um, having surgery in like a year and a half or whatever on my jaw because I had an underbite. So they're basically breaking my jaw. So I guess they needed extra room, so they thought we'll just, you know, do a couple of things to you that are painful more than just one. But I thought I'd take the time to um, make a guitar lesson for my friend Reagan and whoever else. Um, on the song Broken by Seether, just because I'm kind of bored, yet, nothing else to do. I'm going to go make some more jello, or I can do this, which one's more exciting. Um, tuning for the song is um, half a step down for everything, so E, this is now D sharp, so if you have a chromatic tuning, you can do it that way, or I think you can, you can figure it out, I'm sure. Um, okay, so the first part goes like this. Like that, okay. You start with your finger here, here, that second fret of the um, first and fourth string. The string is going one, two, three, four, five, six up. So, what you do is you pick, finger picking. Um, you're picking with your thumb on the fourth and your middle on the first. And then you do a hammer on to the third fret on the first string. And then after that, you um, pick the next two strings with these two fingers. And then up again. You can see that. So it's. So. Try to see what it's but pick first, fourth, hammer on, second, third, first, and then you switch and go to a position where it's you have third fret on the fifth string and the first and second, and then you pick your thumb on the fifth string and these three fingers um, on the bottom three strings. So like that, just pull them out at the same time. And then we get to this part you do. That's what that sounds like. Okay, so what you're doing is you're taking a D chord, which is the first and third string, second fret, and there you go. Um, third fret, second string, so it's like that position. What you're doing is you're picking with the one and four again, like you did in the very first part, like that. But you're doing a open and then hammering on all of them. And that's second, third with your these two fingers. You're doing on the first string. You're doing a hammer on, a hammer off. And that part was just. Um, after I do the first part, I do two and then one again after the hammer on. And then you do this over again. And then this comes to the chorus, which is um, you then go into the position you were before when you plucked them all like that. Except um, now what you're doing is you're picking them individually. So that's five, three, two, one. And you're picking it like keeping these fingers basically on the same strings the whole time. And then you do the same thing, but move your um, 
change fingers so that you had your index finger on the second instead of your ring, sort of middle on the fur on the third. So and then you move up to the move up to the um, second fret, which is called the third string now. the top four strings in the same way, up and then down basically. And then in this time you do just a T chord, or E minor chord, which is just the two, the fourth and fifth strings in the second fret. And then you have to do a harmonic which sounds complicated maybe, it's not actually that hard to learn. And then you... So, how to learn how to do that? Basically, 12th fret, you have certain frets that you have like no points and it does this. Anyways, you don't have to worry about the science of it. So, um, pick whatever string on the 12th fret you want, like this is the third string, and then just rest your finger down until you hear the note change. And kind of get used to that's how much you have to hold down and you're kind of you're not pushing it down or anything you're just like resting it on there just above the fret so you can see the fret is there it's just slightly above it and then you're kind of just doing like top three so you're laying it across those. So it's not that hard. Take some practice to get the touch. And then um, that's pretty much the verse and the chorus. Um, and then they have a solo. I don't know if you, you need to know that. I probably I was gonna do a cover of this sometime coming up. I don't think I'll put any of the solo in there, but it's um kind of you start up. Um, this is the sixth string, so it's open, fifth, seventh. And then you slide up to this is the tenth. Okay, so we'll go back from there. So then seventh. And this is on the just kind of bar across the um, third and fourth string. Pick between those two. Same thing, but then this time you go to the seventh on a fourth string, slide up to the twelfth, back to the ninth, then do a hammer on from there. You do that first part again, and then this time. solo that I've learned and then that it's that's not very really hard solo but and then you go back. I'm not really sure where the solo fits in actually but just listen to the song you can figure it out. I don't really care too much about it. Um one alternative I showed you how to play the chorus like this earlier. If you want to make it easier to sound different uh, in one of the chorus parts this of course repeats a couple times. Um, It's just doing it with basic chords instead. So it's C, C major. And that's uh, first fret, second string, second fret, fourth string, and then third on the fifth. E minor, as I mentioned before, is the two on the second. And then that D we mentioned before, so that's like that. See? That's the uh, second fret. In the third fret, the second fret. All right, I think I'm done here. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Whoever's watching this, Reagan, I expect good things. Mm -hmm.